Cisco UCS Director simplifies and speeds up configuration of integrated infrastructure stacks such as FlexPod by providing a single pane of management interface to all three components of compute, network, and storage that make up an integrated infrastructure. Using Cisco UCS Director, CLI-driven configuration tasks can be reduced to a number of simplified point-and-click steps. In this video, we will show you how to use Cisco UCS Director to configure a typical FlexPod, which is made up of Cisco UCS servers, Cisco Nexus switches, NetApp fast storage, and VMware hypervisor. In the login dialog box, enter your login credentials. In the administration tab, under guided setup, double click FlexPod configuration. In the overview pane, you can see the tasks that the wizard will help you complete. Click Next. Click Select to select a pod from the drop-down list, or click the plus sign to add a pod. Enter the name of the new pod. Click Select Site, then choose a site, or click the plus icon to add a site. Enter the name, description, and contact name. Click Submit, and then OK. Enter the description and address. Click Add, and then click OK. Click Next. In the Cisco UCS Manager pane, enter the account name and server address. Check the Use Credential Policy checkbox if you want to use policy to give the credentials. Select a policy from the drop-down list, or click the plus icon to add a policy. Enter the user ID, password, and transport type. The port number will change depending on the transport type. Click Next. In the NetApp pane, choose the appropriate NetApp Common Options radio button. Check or uncheck the HA configuration checkbox. Enter the account name and server address. Check the Use Credential Policy checkbox if you want to use policy to give the credentials. Select the policy from the drop down list or click the plus icon to add a policy. Enter the user ID, password, and transport type. The port number will change depending on the transport type. Click Next. In the Nexus Physical Devices pane, check or uncheck the No HA Configuration checkbox. Enter the device IP address. Check the Use Credential Policy checkbox if you want to use policy to give the credentials. Select the policy from the drop-down list, or click the plus icon to add a policy. Enter the policy name, description, username, password, and protocol. The port number will change depending on the protocol. Click Submit, and then OK. Check or uncheck the Use Same Credentials from Primary Account checkbox. Enter the device IP. Click Next. In the Nexus Virtual Device pane, enter the device IP, user ID, password, and transport type. Then click Next, or you can click Skip. In the VMware pane, enter the cloud name and vCenter or host's address. Check or uncheck the Use Credential Policy checkbox. Enter the user ID and password, then click Next. In the Summary pane, review the information and click Next.
In the Recommended Next Steps pane, click Close. This completes the FlexPod setup.